In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do the discounted payback period. And as you can see, highlighted in yellow here, we're going to assume a cutoff period of three years. We're also going to assume a 5% discount rate. And the reason why we need a 5% discount rate is because we're actually going to discount each one of our cash flows. So to start this off, I should probably create another column called present value of cash flows, just so that we know we have them. I'm going to make highlight that for us. Uh, thick border, okay. So I know that my formula is negative PV, the rate, which is 5%, period, which is the year, so year zero, payment is zero, future value is what I'm going to get, so as for year zero, 60,000. I'm going to hit enter, and obviously it's going to be $60,000 because year zero is not going to be discounted. But I can carry those down. Okay, as you can see, each one of our cash flows is now discounted. So $24,000 is $22,857. $24,000 in year two is $21,769. In year three, $24,000 is actually $20,732. And then last in year four, $18,000 discounted for year four is $14,809. But now we have to do the payback period. So like we did before, the payback period, we just used our normal cash flows. But now we're going to use our present value uh, cash flows to do the same exact thing. So like I said, we're out $60,000, but we made 22,857. So now we're only out 37,143. But then the following year we made 21,769. Now we're out only 15,374. Now wait a minute, in year three, we had cash flows of $20,732, the present value, right? So, and I only need 15,374 to break even. So I know this has to be a fraction. So I already know that this is going to have to be 15,374 3, divided by the 27,32. And that's going to be what we get. So let's just do that now. Divided by... That's a number. Okay. As you can see, it's 0.74 of a year. And that kind of makes sense because if... You know, ballpark numbers, 15,000 over 20,000, that's roughly three-fourths of a year. And that's kind of how I know that that kind of seems right. So that's 0.74 of a year that we're going to pay it off. And then we also have to remember that we also use one and two uh, cash flows, years one and two cash flows. So our total payback, discounted payback period, is equal to 2.74 years. And under the cutoff period of three years, we would definitely do this project because we're getting our money before three years.